next herb is donkey not donkey kong not donkey that you see the animal donkey is donkey and this herb is also known as the female ginseng donkey is used in traditional chinese medicine this herb is used to support reproductive health regulate menstrual cramps donkey is also known to have a balancing effect on the uterus when um, it helps to regulate the estrogen levels. Next is chase tree. Chase tree is also known as vertex or monk's pepper, which supports hormonal balance. Traditionally, it's used to regulate the menstrual cycles, um, release symptoms of PMS, regular irregular periods, or if you have excessive bleeding. The chase tree, what it does, it promotes the production of progesterone. This is a hormone that regulates the menstrual cycle. Hey, here's a little commercial break for you. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your video, but let me just say a little something to you all. For those who may not know, Buttermy Essentials is doing a 90 day money back guarantee. Yes, a 90 day money back guarantee. So if you purchase our rejuvenator, four ounce or eight ounce, or even our grow it kit, we will throw in a free two ounce potent rejuvenator. Now this is not the two ounce, this is the four ounce, but this is what you will be receiving, our potent rejuvenator. So for those who are suffering with hair loss, um, they want their hair to be thicker, um, alopecia, you name it, that's going on with your hair issues, hair falling out, we have a 90 day money back guarantee. So go on our website, click on the link that says money back guarantee, and you will see all the rules and everything that goes according to that um, program. So again, you will purchase our rejuvenator, hair growth serum, either a four ounce or an eight ounce, or you will purchase our grow it kit and you will receive a two ounce, a two ounce, not this four ounce, a two ounce of our potent rejuvenator um, for free. So go on our website, buttermessentials.com, buttermessentials.com. Do not miss out. See you there. Next we have black cohosh. And black cohosh is known for relieving menstrual symptoms, reduce or ease hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, and sleep. So you know all of you ladies who are going through that beautiful menopause or pre or pre-menopause uh, you can look into black cohosh okay all of these are associated with menopause as i said before black cohosh is also known to have estrogen like effects which help to balance the hormonal changes that happen so you know we're going through lots of them are going through that time and the imbalances of menopause black cohosh is the herb for you so our next herb is tribulus and this herb supports reproductive health and increased fertility tribulus is also known to produce the hormone called luteinizing and which it stimulates um, the ovulations in women and this herb has an aphrodisiac uh, property uh, tribulus also helps to support male reproductive health, health as well. So if you have male in your life um, that is suffering from reproductive problems, this is a suggestion. This is a, this is a suggested herb for males. There's plenty more out there. Then we have sage. Sage is a good hormonal balancing. Um, herb. This herb has a has a property that imitates estrogen, which can ease menopausal symptoms such as sweating at night, hot flashes. Sage is great as a tea. You can 
also turn this herb into a tincture, which can alleviate and support you during menopause. So you realize that there are a lot of um, herbs. The herbs that is good for fertility and it can also help with menopausal symptoms as well. Here, last but not least, of herbs for women is ashwanga. Traditionally, this herb is used to balance hormones, support fertility, and also symptoms of menopause. Ashwanga is known to be an adaptogenic herb, and this, which can help regulate the production of cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that disrupts your hormonal balance. There's a lot of herbs out there for um, for women that can help with different um, things such as menopause, PMS, uh, even fibroids. I haven't really got into too deep into these herbs. Another video, I will kind of dissect each herb by itself, um, along with other herbs that's good for women's health and herbs for women just you know to help you out because i know a lot of people are suffering in silence however um like i suggested before any herb that you that is mentioned here this is just as uh, suggestions or just to give you an idea of herbs that is out there to help women and but however it's good to um you can um, have a consultation with me and this will help you better know what type of dosage you can take for each of these herbs, which of these herbs can be combined because you usually don't take one herb. You see, uh, some of these you can do by itself and some of them you can combine. So if you like a consultation, um, you can reach me the information will be put on this video and I just thank you for listening. All right. Bye.